Hi, I'd like to welcome you all to Warren Tech's Open House and thank you for coming to this session. If you need translation services, please uh, see the uh, URL on the top of the page. If you could, please leave your uh, video off and your sound muted. Uh, we will be recording this, this session so that you can view it later and we will do our best to have some time for a Q&A at the end. Uh, if you have any other questions, please refer back to our fact page on the Warren Tech Open House website or the Warren Tech website. Quick intro, my name is Matthew Beckett and I am the fire science instructor. Uh, brief history on me and, and where I came from. Uh, I spent 10 years roughly in the fire service and uh, transferred here about six years ago. Uh, I've ran the program ever since. Uh, my background in the fire service is pretty uh, robust, we'd say. Uh, served as an officer, I did my fire one and fire two. Uh, hazmat tech and ops uh, also did uh, my EMT with IV certification and then I went into hazmat instructor and fire instructor uh, sprinkled in a little bit of uh, rope rescue uh, ended up being a rope rescue tech 3 uh, swift water rescue confined space rescue um, and then uh, of course did my uh, incident management uh, 100 200 700 800 and then just for fun did uh, 300 and 400 uh, so I have a pretty well-rounded base and I like to incorporate a lot of those skills for students. Um, so is what we're going to talk about today is what students will learn in this program, the credits that they will earn. Also, how do I expect students to demonstrate the skills that they've learned? What, um, what models do we use in this class? Also, I have some uh, videos of students who are currently in the program and they'll share their thoughts on the program with you and we will have several videos posted throughout it um, demonstrating some of the things that they, they learn and that they get to do and then again have some time for a little bit of a Q&A near the end. The goal of this class is to start preparing students who are interested in a career in the fire service. Uh, students will begin working towards um, their Fire One certification. Uh, we do that through, with partnerships with, with Red Rocks Community College. We also work closely with Fairmont Fire Protection District and have had students go and train with Westminster, Arvada. Uh, we try and get them integrated into uh, this world as soon as possible. Uh, students will receive certifications in NIMS, uh, National Incident Management System. They will receive 100, 200, 700, and 800. Additionally, they will do their CPR BLS certification. Um, BLS certification pretty much means there's a few skills that they'll be able to do that your normal CPR provider would not be able to do. Uh, focuses around airway management, insertion of airways, um, transport, things like that. The biggest thing that we use to measure students in this class is uh, we follow the state of Colorado's Colorado Division of Fire Prevention and Control. Uh, we use their model of job performance requirements. It's pretty much a list of skills that they need to know to be able to be successful in the fire service. Uh, it will also start preparing them for their practical exam for their Firefighter 1 certification. As far as the EMS side, we use uh, the state skill sheets that they would see at any EMS certification. Uh, like I said, it, it starts preparing them to be successful in those when they, uh, when they take them and go after those certifications. Um, the other thing that's very important is they need to have uh, excellent instructor evaluations and peer reviews. Firefighting and EMS in general are kind of a team sport and so those people need to be able to count on you, you need to be good at your skills and those are definitely things that we work on with these students. Right. And we're going to go ahead and uh, kick into a video that was put together by uh, the audio video par department here at Warren Tech. They do a fantastic job and collaborate with us a lot on some projects.
a great example of some of the things that these students get to experience while they're here at Warren Tech. Um, we do partner with several other programs to, uh, to do some scenarios and skills uh, as much as we can. Uh, been difficult over the past year, but it's something that we always try and focus on. Now, when you, uh, you always want to know what your credits are going to be and, and how is this going to go towards your graduation. Some of the main ones are uh, for your high school, you're going to get a conceptual chemistry credit, a science elective credit, as well as a PE elective. Um, while you're getting that, you're also going to be enrolled at no extra charge and no additional work uh, at Red Rocks Community College. Uh, the way it works right now is you can work it, you can earn anywhere from 6 to 13 credits. Uh, it kind of varies based on a little bit of testing that they may have to do and then purchasing in your uh, NIM certifications, which you can do at a substantially reduced rate. Um, we are in discussion with Red Rocks about realigning the credits with the work that the students are doing, and we'll see where that goes in the next year. Um, what do students enjoy about this program? Well, honestly, what's, what's not to enjoy? I mean, you get to put out car fires, uh, great camaraderie between the students, carrying people down ladders, uh, a, a great gym to work out in. Uh, we do ventilation, we, we cut holes in roofs, we, we break in doors, pretty much everything that they do in Academy, we do here at Warren Tech. Uh, I like to say that they won't really re realize what they got out of this until a few years down the road. Uh, you can see the pictures on the, the Warren Tech Works. And those are former students since I've been here who have been successful in, in choosing to do this as a career. Uh, from Army Ranger Medics all the way to career firefighters and paramedics. So we've had a good success rate in having students uh, come out of the program and be able to find work uh, if it is something that they really want to do. Not going to be an easy, easy road. It never is, but uh, they are definitely well equipped to make that journey. This is one of my uh, favorite slides. I use this quote often. Students will actually see it probably once at the beginning of the year and once at the end. Uh, and it reads, out of every hundred men, 10 shouldn't even be there. 80 are just targets. Nine are the real fighters and we are lucky to have them for they make the battle. Ah, but the one, one is a warrior and he will bring the others back. I liken that to the fire service in that you want to be the person that people trust to come when uh, chips are down. Um, to do that, uh, you need to be able to participate. You need to ask questions. You need to be working as a team. You need to spend time practicing on your own. Uh, the confidence will come. Uh, you may have a great worth ethic. You may not. But I guarantee in this class you will develop it. Uh, you will learn a lot of skills that you will carry with you throughout life. And every fire department follows these last three ones, right? Honor, pride, and dedication. These are just some additional videos of our uh, trainings that we do. The first one was a Palmer dollhouse that we build and burn. We do four of them a year. Uh, this is a large scale evolution we did at Fairmount's uh, Fire Training Center. Uh, right now, students are preparing to do what we call a VES, Vent Enter Search, where they will uh, set the ladder up and go into the second story, search for victims, and remove them. Uh, while we have entry teams preparing to make entry through the front door. This is a uh, Pittsburgh drill, pretty standard in the fire service. Uh, it is a RIT drill. RIT is Rapid Intervention Team. So they are specifically there to rescue downed firefighters. And so these students are working on getting a downed firefighter out of a building. Uh, they have their vision obscured, which means they can't really see what they're doing. Uh, they can see some basic colors, light and shapes, but definitely not what you can see 90% uh, of the time. Finally, we, uh, we do get quite a bit of news coverage, and this was one of the stories that was put out by Seven News. They came out to our very first uh, arson investigation. Um, this has now expanded. We used to only do one building, we now do two, and this just continues to grow and be a great uh, event for the students to get some real world experience and see the effects of a live fire. Gonna walk you through a, just a quick virtual tour of the facility. Uh, you can see we have our own fire engine and next to it is a semi-trailer. In that trailer is our SCBA maze. Uh, SCBA is your self-contained breathing apparatus. Uh, in that is, uh, think of it like a haunted house for firefighters. We can make it dark, we can smoke it up, a lot of crawling, a lot of sweating, uh, good time for the students. 
Um, as you walk in the main door, you see our, uh, our bay area. We do a lot of our training in here. We have uh, a large monitor up there that we can watch videos and do lectures in that area. We also have some of our gym equipment, predominantly our cardio equipment out in that space. So you can watch TV while you're running. Uh, as you move into the classroom, this is somewhere you're going to spend uh, quite a bit of time. It is not an easy class. There is a lot of material to, to get through throughout the year, uh, around 30 chapters altogether. Um, that's a lot, and it's something that you don't have a lot of prior knowledge in, so you have to be really willing to spend the time to learn. Uh, some of the equipment we have, these are our extrication tools. You may have heard them referred to as uh, the Jaws of Life. Uh, those are donated through a, a partnership with a private business. And then we just recently were able to upgrade our SCBA equipment. So we have our own bottles, uh, we have our own fill station. Uh, the nice thing about that is we can, we can pack these students up, um, get them on, on SCBAs as much as we'd like. And finally, uh, and our most recent upgrade is the gym. Uh, we just went through with student money that was earned through certifications and the state of Colorado to upgrade the gym, the floor, and the equipment in this space so that we can really uh, start doing some great work in the gym uh, as well as in the fire side of things. Now we're going to go ahead and kick into a few videos that were made by students. They are current students for this year and uh, I can sell the program, but I can't do it nearly as good as Hi, they can. Hi, my name is Mia, and I took this class because I am really interested in going to the EMT field, and this is a great stepping stone to get there. I really do like this class because it gives you an opportunity to do a lot of things that, you know, your average high schooler wouldn't be able to do and probably will never do in their life. Um, I would definitely recommend it. You get to do a lot of fun stuff, like you could go to rope courses, you get to climb ladders, you get to fight fires, you get to chop up cars, it's a lot of fun things. Hi everyone, welcome to Warren Tech Fire Science. I'm Jacob and this is Liam and we'll tell you guys what we think class is like. Oh, what's your favorite thing about class, Liam? Uh, my favorite thing is probably the hands-on experience and training that we get to do. Yeah, it's definitely one of the better parts about this class. What's class like? Do so think? every day you'll kind of show up and you'll either be doing book work for a little bit or you'll just go straight into the bay and start doing fun stuff that you enjoy doing. Good training. Um, what do you think the teacher's like, William? Uh, Chief. Chief's a crazy guy, but he knows his stuff and he's always willing to teach you something extra or show you how to do something better and faster. How would you succeed in this class, William? Uh, to succeed, I'd say definitely get there on time every day. Make sure you have all your work done. Work hard and just don't leave anything out there. Just put everything in there. What does it take to be a good student in this class? To be a good student in this class, I think you got to pay attention and make sure you're doing your work and don't backtalk, Chief, and just make sure you're doing your work. Uh, what makes you come to class every day, and how do you feel challenged in this class? Um, I want to come to class every day just because I want to fulfill dreams, and I just want to learn more. I'm challenging this class by getting put out of my comfort zone and doing weird stuff that I would never think of. All right, thanks for joining. Like I said, uh, great ambassadors for the program and the school are our students, um, especially not just our students that are current here, but the ones that you know were here three, four years ago that have really seen the benefit of Warren Tech and what their time here had, had meant. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move into the Q&A. There should be a link in the chat that you guys would be able to get to to ask questions. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close out of this and we'll get through our Q&A. Uh, again, thank you for uh, coming to the session and uh, look forward to seeing you guys on campus. And uh, you should be proud of the choice that you're making. Uh, take control of your education and uh, be active in what you want to do as far as career choices.